What's up, everybody? It is Crypto Muscle coming back to you in another YouTube video. And in this video, Moonberg, Moonberg, Moonberg. I've been keeping an eye on Moonberg and what they've been doing, their activity of what they've been doing. So we know that Moonberg's long been over, right? So let me just go over here. So Moonberg's long been over. Only thing left in Moonberg are the Moonbots as they slowly expire because nobody wants to pay a 25% fee to end their moon bot. So people are just letting it expire when their terms end. So that way they can pull out their moon coins. And so with that, uh, the only, there's only two options right now with moon coins. Either you put it in your MetaMask and uh, all right, all right, I'll, I'll say three options. All right. The third one is not even really an option, but uh, I'll throw it out there anyways because that's what they say is an option. So, all right, so three options. Put it in your MetaMask wallet because it's an ERC-20, and you can just let it sit there and you just wait for who knows for what. Uh, second thing you can do is they say throw it on the exchanges, right, that are available to sell on Ether Delta, McAfee Dex, Fork Delta. But the good news is that they don't sell. That's the good news, that that nobody cares about moon coins so there's no demand and no one's buying them so you can just waste your time putting it on the exchanges with your sell orders because um, nobody's gonna buy them that's why it's not really a third option but I'm just throwing it out there for you and then the only other other option right now they say is to put it in the moon traders right which is their EA ENLA auto trading bot. Yes, it's a subscription based bot. And they say that they're going to honor these moon coins dollar per dollar. So I guess if anything, if that's, I mean, if it sounds good, I mean, I guess you, you really just have to just throw it in there. But on top of that, you got to have extra money set aside because you know how these bots work right you, you pay the subscription fee and from there you put in your api keys and then you got to have funding in your uh you know exchange that you sign up with by the way they only have binance and bybit at this time and when you do sign up you have to sign up through their links because if you don't use their links they're going to suspend your accounts so that's what they that's what they said in the telegram discord all that stuff so the only way you could get through into using this plug in your api keys and all that first step is you have to sign up through their links because if you don't sign up through their links like i said they're going to shut it down they're going to suspend your account so now you get that straight so they're kind of forcing you still to stick along with it. you're trying to get out of this thing right you're trying to get out of moon bots you can't get out because you're stuck, right? And then you ex let it expire. You want to just get out of Moonberg, but you can't because no one wants to buy your moon coins. And even Tobias said that he's he's 250 plus deep, and and a thousand, two fifty thousand plus deep in the pockets of of all these moon coins that he's bought back because he was the real bot in action, buying up all the Moonberg coins in the very beginning. You know how you thought that you're selling Moonberg coins, you know, and oh shit, the instant exchange, all that stuff. Yeah, it was instant, all right, because Tobias was buying them up instantly, and uh, and his cronies buying them up instantly, and then uh, as it started to, you know, go towards the winter last year, they just completely shut everything off and said we're not buying back anything anymore. And obviously there was no demand for it. That's why no one was buying them. And then that's when they stopped sending profits to the moon bots. They stopped everything. Even though they don't want to admit it, they try to say market conditions and all that stuff. And now, right now, they, they could have something to use to blame market conditions with the coronavirus. But before that, they were blaming the, the sudden drops in the market, ruined their you know chances of providing profits for everybody which was lame uh it was a, a shitty lame ass excuse you know uh the drops in the market because 
it was hovering around 8,000 or 7,000 BTC in the coin market cap at the time. And then it dropped suddenly to 6,000, right? And then that's when everything froze. But then the market reaccumulated, went back up, and it, it stood at 10,000 for a while. And then, it, then 9,000, and it kind of stayed there. So the sudden drop they blamed it on, they could have long made their recovery, but they still said, oh, it was the market conditions, and we're still recovering from our losses. You know, the stupid excuses that they were using at the time. And that carried on and on until, <laughs> until I guess people just started forgetting about why they, why Moonbird stopped paying. And so now came 2020, right? They said, all right, we got to get away from this uh, bot, Moonbot model, because it's not doing well for us because no one's paying, no one's buying. So we got to come up with something. So they said, all right, we're going to do the Hackberg deal, right? We're going to do this, the ETH smart contract, because that's what they were saying. We got to do the ETH smart contract. And uh, let, me sh let me show you guys what that looks like here. So they proposed doing this Hackberg mining dap, right? They said, this is going to be an ETH contract. We'll pay out an ETH dividends. All you got to do is just go into this thing, right? We're going to start mining rigs up in a warehouse, they did the whole tour and everything, which was fake. It was staged because they had no bot, no uh, mining rigs. All right, they staged the warehouse visit, right? So, you know, they said, oh, this is the warehouse right here. They provided pictures and everything. And then to, to look at it, they said, oh, but by the way, we don't have the mining rigs yet. And so with the mining rigs, they said, oh, right now we, we ordered them, but now they're stuck in China because uh, nah, this is when the coronavirus started to really break out, right? Yeah, it's stuck in China right now, so we're just waiting for it to come, uh, but we can't right now. And essentially, yeah, I guess it's a legitimate excuse now, but at the same time, it's still lame because they showed a, a warehouse full of rigs that weren't even theirs and said, oh, well, that's not Hackbirds, though, but, you know, there was just a waste of time just to show. I guess they really wanted to show that they're really trying to tell the truth, that they're really legitimate, even though they suck and terrible at providing the truth to people. And so now came this whole thing they had under wraps. They were like, oh, we, we got this uh, trading bot called the ELNA Auto Trader, right? So they, you know, forget about the two bots they had previously last year. They, you know, that they released for, they call the desktop bot. You know, they, they had the Binance bot, Binance bot, same concept, right? But they said, no, forget about those bots. We stopped trading with those. You got to go with this ELNA Auto Trader now. All right. So it's almost like a reboot. I think, you know what I think it is? I think it's those same bots they were trying to get people to buy in on that no one was buying in on because it was a, it was very steep. And then they said, all right. And they just kind of relaunched it into this whole moon traders thing. And then from there, they said, yeah, you got to do this. You got to sign up under our links, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we're going to show you that this thing is going to provide great results, you know. And so that's what they're doing with it. And uh, I think it's the same exact bots from what they were trying to introduce last winter fall that no one was really buying in on because it was very steep. And so this is where it's at. They say you want to sign in with Moon Traders now. This is what they're offering. They're forcing Moonbot owners to buy into it because you can't sell your Moon Coins anyway, so might as well. Even though there's people that just don't want to trade, right? People just want to get the passive income profit. So, so you buy Bit Futures Trading, Binance indicators all this other bs that they do right so it's just like any other su subscription bot trading services that are out there right now uh i'll go straight to it you know this is they, this is what they offer you know all this stuff right i've all, i've shown this in previous videos see so binance trading view by buy, buy bit futures they've all been in beta testing right now and they feel that they've done enough to uh a beta test in that. All right, we could start launching this thing real soon. So they got the free license, uh, which you can see um, the trading view charts, all this other stuff. Then you got the trader license, which is currently at 175, and it's good for a year. And then you got the premium license, which is uh, 500 dollars for for the year. Um, and you have you know extra stuff. So that's how it always is, right? They provide more. And so you have that, and that's all you could do right now um, with this stuff. 
they're saying that this thing is going to help them turn around. This thing is going to be like the best thing ever because that's how they always talk about it in the, uh, you know, Discord and Telegram and all that. Oh yeah, this is going to be the best thing ever. But you guys ever wondered whatever happened to their Bit Depository Exchange, right? So as I've been following along, this Bit Depository Exchange that they've been telling that oh this is going to be the best thing, you know, that Moonbird's going to introduce their own exchange, and uh, you know this. Bit Depository, right? It's supposed to be launched last September, and this whole time they kept saying, "Oh, but um, it's uh, you know, it's it's in uh, audit, you know." So they kept on saying, "Oh, it's it's in audit right now, and it's been in audit for months, right?" I mean, how long does it take to audit uh, a small, tiny little exchange, right? So. Now, I was just kind of looking through my Discord, and I was like, what the hell is this KYC.crypto, right? So, they just announced um, a couple of days ago how, you know, this was formerly the Bit Depository, and now this is what they just announced, right? That BDT is now KYC.crypto. To increase market acceptance and evolve further, BDT has been rebranded to KYC.crypto. They have a new address, all this other informational stuff, all this BS, right? So, basically, they're really trying to, like, completely distance themselves from Moonberg, Bit Depository Exchange. All that stuff was, you know, a failure. And now they've rechanged it to KYC.crypto. Same name, I mean, same Bit Depository Exchange. They just rebranded it. They're just trying to get away from the whole... Moonberg name and anything connected to a BDT, Bit Depository, all that stuff. So that's something they just announced a couple days ago, and I thought I wanted to share as well. You know, same old bullshit, just different name, is what it is. And so uh, they say that. Let's see here. Yeah, there's really no new announcement on when this thing will be available. So you know, same old BS, right? Maybe it's still in audit. Right now, they didn't really say when this thing's gonna, yeah, launch. It said this new platform will allow a crypto community to operate on several exchanges or KYC services with just one decentralized KYC. So they feel that this, along with the Moon Traders, is gonna dig them out of that Moonbird hole that they dug themselves in. And so with that, when you look at it, um, you know, like. Tobias said that he's not going to buy back any more coins anymore, right? So he says that the only way he could really get those back is he's really just trying to collect them and get rid of them. Is that as people start paying their bots with these things, um, that's when he's going to be able to collect them. When people start selling them, he's going to pull them off the market. That's his whole plan. Is this plan going to work? We don't know. But that's just what he was saying his plan is. Uh, let's see what this uh, formerly known... Uh, bit depository looks like so this is what it looks like basically it's the same exact setup if uh, too bad I couldn't show you the bit depository exchange maybe if you roll back to my past videos you could see what it looks like but it's the same exact website you know if you uh, look at it but they just changed the name I mean that's all it is you say bit depository but it's the same exact web page that's all it is so I just wanted to share that with you, but they made sure that they that there was no bit depository words at all. They made sure they changed everything that there is, which is good. You know. That way you can't really tell that they changed it. So that is your latest on your moon traders and KYC crypto update. The BS continues. And yeah, what happened to the moon phones? I'm still waiting for the moon phones. You know. When is Ian J. Gold going to get that moon phone. I'm still waiting for it. And, uh, yes. Let me just go here. Yep. Arkham secured. No moon phone. So they just, they exit, they, uh, took the coronavirus exit early on. And so moon phones never existed, but I'm going to keep pounding away at that until I see a moon phone. So, yeah. Links down below. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this whole shift and everything that they're trying to put Moonberg under the rug so 
yeah, other than that, I'll see you in the next one.